In today's session, I'm going to share a little different topic, not related to MuleSoft, but it's important for our MuleSoft development. So we always, you know, have a question of how to, you know, uh, run, taste, and share your local development with your team members. So one traditional pain point always in in software development is is the need to continuously redeploy your, you know. Uh, work to remote web server in our case any point platform and then you know uh, to test our functionality compatibility and share with our collaborators so we have let's say collaborators multiple collaborator team members right you want to share that so that is again like, you know always a pain point maybe you need to show your team uh, let's say a quick demo of something you have been working on or taste a webhook notification with the you know with integrated third party services so traditional ways to make the necessary link up can be complex and time consuming and, and it won't be suitable just for sharing or testing something quickly. So luckily, there is an easy, easy plug and play solution available that is called ngrock. Okay. So we can use ngrock and, you know, we can, you know, uh, share our, you know, local development with our collaborators. So it's a free tool that allows us to tunnel from public URL to our application running locally. So you know we can download it. Uh, you know simply there are there are there are two steps: download the package from your uh, you know from the browser, unzip it, and that's it. Okay. So there is no threat. Uh, you know step three. So let me let me take you to the you know to the uh, web page. You can find all the details over here. Okay, so it says that you can expose your local web server to the internet, and then you can go to this link for Windows. If you can go ahead and directly download it, so I have already downloaded ng rock staple, and go to the folder where you have downloaded and unzip it. You'll you'll get ng rock exe file. Okay, now you start the command line from here. Go ahead and start the command line from here. You can. Start the command line from this folder. Go ahead and start. Now, simple steps are: you can go ahead and bring your ng rock cxc here. Okay, and just save. Okay, so let me show you my requirement. Fine, it's a very simple requirement. Let's say I'm running my, uh, you know, uh, your flow, which is running on my local host on 808814. Okay. Now, if I want to share this link with my collaborators, my team members, it's not going to work, okay? Because they're running on local server. If the other ways, I need to redeploy this to my Anypoint platform cloud and then they can share, you know, they can uh, you know, consume that URL from there. Let's do it. Let's publicly expose this now, okay? So let's do it. So if I go to my, uh, you know, to my, if I say local host, it's the local host. Colon eight zero eight one. I'm able to see the output proper, right? Okay. Now, if I if I won't be able to give I me mean, other collaborators won't be able to access this web because it's running local. Now, what we can do? So let's go here and we'll say, okay, boss, can you expose this port eight zero eight one for me? Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Now you are your local host colon 88 is exposed as this URL. Now your collaborators can access this URL from their system or from the public internet. Let me go ahead to my postman now. And if I trigger this, okay, thing, I change this control D and so you can stop the same output. Now this is publicly exposed now. So yeah, so that's what my intention, but there are more features. Okay. Uh, you can secure this tunnel. Okay. You can do a lot of things. So few, few things like, you know, once you install, right, you can get a dashboard also. So let's see how the dashboard looks like. Here you'll get a URL for that. Have a look at it. Web interface. So just copy this URL, control C, go to your browser. Okay. And say, and in the browser. Now you can see that you get a dashboard for this. Okay. 
Now from here you can see the status of your tunnel. From here you can see this. Take the status of your tunnel and actual address you can see here. This is the actual address and this is your your URI. Okay, so dashboard is a good feature. Now see, I have not created any account. I have just downloaded the NVLOG software on my local system, and I'll be able to make my local URL and access it from the public internet. Other features are there. You can you can, you can replay the uh, you know request that option is also available here. Okay. Uh, you as I said, right, you can secure your tunnel. Okay, so for that you need to create account and then uh, simply you can go to your you know uh, tunnel and you can say let me just start in the command line so that i can move it once you sign up you create account and you can say okay you can you know uh, so in the, the box here you can see and you can secure your uh, tunnel with the auth switch. So this is the switch. Here you can say username and password and each port. So here you can say double code is pass user colon password and then which port number which you write on this number and you can run this command. So this will secure your you know um, your channel. So you don't need to worry about you know someone snooping on your you know uh, Super secret app just now, which we have filled in, right? So, that option also there with this. You can have, you know, uh, custom subdomains. Okay. So, right now, if you see on the other tab, so we are getting, you know, random subdomain, right? This one. You can have your subdomain. For, yeah. So, that you need to have paid uh, NGROC account. Okay. But so that's a, that's a possibility. So how you can get it? You can set your, you know, uh, subdomain something like this. I'll just get uh, this clean up. You can say you know, subdomain, and you can give subdomain spelling okay, correct. Yes, subdomain, and you can say okay. Uh, let's say stack you know, com. You can give that. Okay, or just must that that will be your subdomain and then ngroute.io you will get it back. Okay, so uh, and your port number 8081. So now what you get, I'll just type it here. So you get http colon slash slash and I just give merge stack and your dot ng rock dot i. This will be your you are again okay so that is also you get it with the customer but you need to have paid in jira account okay and you can configure uh, all this you know uh, automatically also so yeah that's all from this session and uh, hope you like it it's very useful right guys when you work with multiple developers you know you don't need to you know small small things redeploy on your server and uh, show them you can have this option and use it thank you for watching please subscribe the channel share with your friends and hit the like button and uh, don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon now okay so yeah we'll come up with more uh, such interesting uh, topics thank you see you in the next session bye bye